ever wonder what sound is? What is sound? Sound is something that you can hear with your ears. Our ears have the amazing ability to detect very tiny changes in the air pressure around our ears. When a high pressure region pushes against your eardrum, your eardrum vibrates. This causes tiny little bones and tiny little hair cells inside of your ear to vibrate. When these tiny hair cells vibrate, they send a bunch of signals through your auditory nerve to your brain. Your brain interprets these signals as sounds. Sounds are created when something vibrates or moves back and forth. If that something vibrates somewhere between 20 and 20,000 times per second, most humans can hear the effects of that vibration as sound. This vibration is up and down and the wave is traveling this way and then it bounces back. We get what's called nodes. When we use a speaker to make compression waves through a spring, we can actually feel the back and forth vibration between the nodes. The speaker is also moving the air as longitudinal waves. Let's see what happens when we compress a gas. So when we compress a gas, we have a region of high pressure. When we expand a gas, we have a region of low pressure. Gases flow from regions of high to low pressure. Sound is a pressure wave that is created by a vibrating source. To help you visualize sound waves, here's a Rubens flame tube filled with a flammable gas. So what we have here is a series of flames with a gas tube connected to a membrane that's pressed up against a speaker. 20 hertz. What that means is that this speaker is actually vibrating 20 times per second. I can feel that. When that speaker vibrates, it's going to create regions of alternating high and low pressure to create a standing wave. Let's see what that does to the flames. As we increase the sound frequency, we create more nodes. We have more regions of alternating high and low pressure gas inside of the tube. As we increase the frequency, we shorten the wavelength. The distance between one high pressure region and the next high pressure region is called the wavelength. Frequency is just a word that means how often something happens. In the case of sound waves, that something is a repeating change in pressure from a higher pressure to a lower pressure and then back up to a higher pressure again. The more quickly these changes occur, the higher the sound frequency. Our brains interpret higher frequency sounds as a higher pitch. Your vocal cords, they vibrate that way that, and it allows you to make sound. Mm. Have you ever wondered what vocal cords look like? Breathe normal. It goes in your nose. It feels a little strange, okay? Take a deep breath and say, eee. Now, this is actually a good high resolution scope. You can actually see the vibration of the vocal cord. Now go bass. Eee. Very good. High frequency, low frequency. <laughs> High frequency, low frequency. We change the sounds our vocal cords make by changing the size and shape of our vocal tract. An electrolarynx works by vibrating. Button. properties of sound by saying that sound needs matter or a medium in order to travel or propagate. Matter is a fancy word for stuff. It's the matter that transfers vibrational energy from one location to another. The actual particles themselves don't travel very far.